If the stabilizer out of trim light illuminates, the stabilizer has not been trimmed correctly by the autopilot trim system. When the stabilizer out of trim light illuminates, hold the controls tightly and disengage the autopilot. Use the electrical or manual trim to correct the stabilizer position. If the stabilizer is out of trim below 800 feet on a dual autopilot approach, the autopilot warning light illuminates steady red. This warns the pilot of possible control fuel changes if the autopilot is disengaged for the landing. Other problems with the auto flight and stabilizer trim systems can occur on a dual autopilot go around. You saw before that two autopilots are only used for approach and go around. All other pitch and roll modes use a single autopilot. On a dual autopilot approach, the autopilot adds nose up trim on short final. When a missed approach occurs, the autopilots start to remove the nose-up trim to prepare for single autopilot operation. After the trim is removed, Altitude Acquire can engage for level off. But during some conditions, the autopilots cannot change the trim sufficiently in the time available to let Altitude Acquire engage. The Altitude Acquire mode is then inhibited. This causes the autopilot warning light to illuminate steady. You must disengage the autopilot and manually fly the airplane to level off at the specified altitude. When the autopilot is disengaged, there can be unwanted nose-up trim remaining. Altitude Acquire Inhibit can occur under these conditions. Low mist approach altitude, full go-around thrust, and lightweight. The auto flight systems do many self-checks to make sure that guidance commands are valid. Failure of these internal monitors usually cause the autopilots to disengage. When two autopilots are engaged, special requirements are imposed on the auto flight systems. The most important requirements are that inputs to the autopilots agree and that guidance commands from the autopilots agree. If the inputs are different or the autopilots disagree, the autopilots are disengaged by performance monitors. But this rule is applied differently for the radio altimeters. When the airplane descends through 1,500 feet above ground level, the monitors check for two radio altimeter signals. If there are two signals, the monitors let the second autopilot engage and the flare mode arms. If a radio altimeter fails after flare is armed, the autopilots ignore the failure. As the airplane goes through the flare altitude, 
one autopilot tries to flare and the other cannot. This causes two autopilots to disengage and puts the airplane in your control at a very important and unexpected time. To prevent surprises, cross-check the flight instruments at 500 feet. Be sure to check the two radio altimeters for normal operation. The autopilot also helps the pilot check for flare armed. As the airplane passes through 380 feet, the performance monitors check to see if flare is armed. If flare is not armed, the autopilots disengage.